Akshay has a great reputation and we've been knowing each other for a long time. So uh, we've been sitting on boards together, we've worked on matters together. And uh, I think the chemistry between me and him just clicked and worked very well. So we went for each other. All right. <laughs> Akshay, now you've quit rival law firm J. Sagar Associates after a stellar tenure of about nine and a half years. That's right. Tell us what prompted you to move on. Was it the opportunity of a leadership role at Shardul Amarchand Mangalas? I think so. I think there was a, a great opportunity. I mean, you know, how often is it going to be possible for someone like me to basically have not only the opportunity to grow something, but to grow something with a track record, with uh, the brand equity that they have, and the comfort of both Shardul and Pallavi, which I think is very important. You know, I have a lot of comfort in the two of them. Uh, there's the, we, have a, we have a great understanding. We've worked together, like Shardul mentioned. So it was... Um, but it was really the opportunity. All right, so you backed it over there. Yeah. <laughs> now, your expertise lies in mergers and acquisitions and private equity. That's How right. do you plan to balance, say, perhaps the active role of bagging m and mandates and also uh, overlooking the charge of the entire Mumbai operations of the firm? I mean, I think that's any managing partner's role. So there will be a, a, a certain amount of my time which will go towards uh, the corporate m and practice. But I think that a larger part, portion of the time will also go towards ensuring that we have a very balanced portfolio uh, of lawyers here in Mumbai and sort of making sure that they all are able to sort of assimilate with the organization. I mean, that's pretty much what my role would be. Tell us more about the Mumbai strategy, Akshay. Going ahead, uh, what are some of the main priorities that you'll have other than cultural assimilation, which of course will be important because these are people from different backgrounds merging into a new firm. Sure. So I think, uh, you know, Shardul and me have talked and we're looking at maybe uh, getting about 100 lawyers on board in the first year. We want to ensure that we have all the key areas for the Mumbai market covered. So there would be, of course, corporate M&A and private equity, which would be the mainstay of, of, of the firm. But we also equally, we also believe that uh, banking, finance, capital markets, securities, both securities work, securities litigation work, are also is also properly covered. So I think my priority is to, to ensure that we have all of these areas covered and to bring on board the right people who are able to deliver the kind of quality uh, that, the, that, that the brand actually requires. Other than the advisory uh, part of your role, uh, there's also a lot of scope in Mumbai as far as litigation is concerned. You have the high courts, you have the security separate tribunal, you have the company law board. What about litigation and your hiring plans over there? So we've already got uh, one partner, uh, you know, who's, who's a litigator on board. And again, I think the litigation strategy is going to be quite similar. It's, we're going to focus on commercial litigation. We're going to focus on, for example, on, uh, you know, the, the securities appellate tri tribunal, you know, so securities litigation, financial litigation, and also white collar crime. That's, I think, an area where mm -hmm. there's tremendous amount of scope. So the litigation uh, practice is going to focus around, you know, the financial and commercial sectors. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.